All right, so it's getting warm outside, so I'm gonna go over some, I guess, base layers that I've I've worn uh, in the past and continue to wear uh, with some of them. But before I start, you have to do whatever is stated in your rules and regulations. So keep that in mind. But uh, in the Navy, the, uh, I guess the t-shirt that you have to wear has to be Coyote Brown. Uh, this first one is Sophie. Um, I don't wear these anymore. They they sell them at like the at the necks and everything, and they kind of suck. Um, one hundred percent cotton. If you if you have nothing else, you can wear it. But if you're doing stuff in the field or active, uh, don't don't wear these. Uh, the ones that I wear, uh, I don't want to say the most, but um, they're in the rotation. These are made by True Spec, and it's what eighty five percent polyester, fifteen percent cotton. They're pretty comfy. Um, you can see I've had this one probably for a while. I sweat a lot. Um, the pits, um, especially. And then if you're wearing armor or anything, um, uh, sweat will start to pour out. But these are these are solid. You can get these on Amazon. They're not too expensive. Um, the next one, the one I like to wear the most is the Under Armour. Uh, I think that this is like the heat gear or whatever. They're, if you know about Under Armour, you know what I'm talking about. They're solid, super comfy. I only have two of these, which kind of sucks. But um, every time I uh, wear them, I immediately throw them in the, in the wash and get them rinsed up because these are superb. These are my go-to. So all these are... Um, or authorized more or less in the in the Navy. I'm getting in, into some stuff that may or may not be. So uh, a key takeaway is with the Under Armour stuff. Um, it's it's a little it's a little I guess a slippery slope because of the the material. If you're working if you're working around fire and all that, um, the stuff will drip and what i mean by that once it um gets to a certain temperature it will start to melt to your skin so that's why a lot of the uniforms um that the military uses all of them to my knowledge are non-drip so keep that in mind that's why like in the 2000s a lot of uniforms were changing you saw like marines rolling around in flight suits and stuff uh that's because all that stuff was uh dripping so if you're stateside you don't really have to worry about that threat but if you go down range, keep that in mind. So uh, this is a Patagonia uh, combat top. Uh, if you're wearing these, um, this one particularly between like the Patagonia Beyond and Cry, this one with the full camo pattern, not the one with like the, the, the tan right here. This one particularly is super, super comfortable for me. I don't know, I don't think there's any difference, but f for whatever reason, this one is just super comfortable. Um, sleeves, you probably, you know about combat tops, sleeves are a durable material and the, uh, the center is moisture wicking. If you're, if you're cool, you can cut off the sleeves and keep you cool. If not, you can just roll them. But this is not specifically the Patagonia one, but just combat tops in general. Uh, next one, this is made by Velocity Systems. These things are pretty cool. I don't know what the hell this is made out of, but it's super stretchy. I've had this thing for a while. If you saw the other shirts, um, you saw the fucking pit stains, right? None with this. This thing, it's like the moisture wicking material is superb. They make two versions. I think one's the the rugby and the other one's the boss rugby. I don't know. One had, The other one has Velcro on the sleeves and like a V cut right here. Um, that one's cool. And they make it in a whole bunch of different colors and long sleeve and short sleeve. Velocity system stove. I think out of all these other than the Patagonia one, I don't know how much that one costs. This is probably the most expensive. I, I believe these run, this one in particular, I think runs like 70 bucks. And then the last one, um, similar material as to the Under Armour, although it's different. Uh, this is made by Born Primitive. They're a workout, like a gear company, I guess that's how you describe it. But they're, they're, the material they use on this is top notch. Again, they make long sleeve and short sleeve. I have a long sleeve one that I use for like, 
um, anytime we're on the water, it's like that type type of material, not for like just like a recreational use, I should say. Um, it's like the fishing shirt material, so that's dope. Again, they make uh, long sleeve and short sleeve, and if you have identifiers, you can put them on the side. So that's it. That those are the. Uh, I don't know if base layer is the right, right uh, term, but those are the shirts I wear. Um, again, do whatever is authorized, and if you're, and if the rules are lax, try one of these out. These things are relatively expensive, but it will pay in the long run. When I see people out in the field sweating their dicks off with a Sophie shirt and, you know, all that gear on, I was just like, dude, you did that to yourself. Put a little money, put a little time, put a little effort into yourself, you know? <laughs> it, it will pay off. And people always ask me, who makes this and who makes that? It's like, dude, there you go, now you know. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for any other companies, I'm sure I missed something. I don't know everything. Uh, let me know.